Welcome to the Fat Man 56 channel, and today we're going to talk about war while playing Car Mechanic Simulator on Expert. Woohoo! So, we're playing Car Mechanic Simulator on Expert. So, yeah, as you can see in the top right, there's nothing on my screen other than just walk around. I have to go to the computer to look at my stats. So, as you can see in the top right hand corner, I have $4,000. I have two people on the phone giving me jobs. I have zero XP, and I have, and I'm level one. So that's where we're starting up there. If you want to level up your, oh yeah, you have radio right here that goes, plays music, but I don't want to play any music. You want to upgrade your level, you have to go to a toolbox here and use these tools. When you get higher level than I am, there's bunches of stuff that go out through, like, these ones here are all level 25. At level 30, I unlocked a expanded garage. But I'm on expert, so as I can see, I can't see what my level is and stuff, because normally it's plastic on the top right screen. But let's take a call and get some money going here. Uh, poor break performance. We'll just do this one for cash. So, what I would, while I'm playing this game, something I would like to talk about is war. Ooh, ah! You're a Japanese designer, aren't you? Aren't you? Or maybe American, I don't know. It looks like a, one of the bombs from World War II. Yep, it's got bombs on it. It's killed four, four or five bombs. This thing is weird. And it's rusty, look at the rust. And here, and down along here, and oh, those brakes don't look good. So, what's your status? War brake performance. Hmm. So, let's look under the hood. Okay, this brake drum isn't that bad. And if you look down here where the dot is, that's the ABS system. That's not too bad, and neither is the thing. Actually, they look crappy as heck, and I don't like them. But it looks like it's all into the drums and such, because that drum looked horrible. So let's raise it up and rip off the tires. So, back to war. Our wars. I was talking with a another YouTuber goes, named Dick Marks. He has way more subs than me. And he's a really cool guy. He makes me sick. If you get it, do a video that makes me sink, you get a cookie. Or at least props. Props to him for making me think. But in one of his videos comparing World War II vets to Vietnam veterans, I've said several times I pity poor Vietnam veterans. Here's why. They got the shaft. Ooh, look at that drum. Look at that uh, rotor. That's messed up. They totally got the shaft because the Vietnam War, as officially counted by the Department of Defense, wasn't a war. Damn, these. Have I found all the messed up parts? One uh, brake pad that's it so far? Yeah, they got the Vietnam veterans got the short end of the stick on that one, because it's not officially a war, but people didn't. Nobody wanted to fight that war, or play or fight in the conflict to begin with. Most people were like, we didn't care about communism, because after well, after World War II, our big boogeyman was communism. Communism was everywhere. We fought the Korean con, our Korean War trying to stop communism and the French told us not to fight in Vietnam but we still did first we started training them on better equipment and then next thing you know we're fighting their war for them and then they're drafting okay we need one break disc what just one break disc and two pads Ugh. um but then we 
We're supposed to just train them people, or there, or there are people to fight the war. But then next thing you know, we're fighting it for them. And that was just, I, I'd say, wrong. But either way, nobody wanted, none of our people wanted to fight the war. The war was really mm -hmm. nasty, because they were like, back to guerrilla warfare, and the tactics that worked in World War II didn't work anymore. So they had to redo tactics, get ready for guerrilla warfare. If you watch movies like Platoon, that shows you apparently how somewhat how it was like. With um you come along a little mole hill and go somebody would be like, that's a bunker. I'm looking at him like, that's a bunker? That just feels so wrong. So, I'll get this down up here. And just infighting between the troops was kind of a thing, apparently. And basically, it was just hell. I talked with Vietnam vets who told me stories like um, they would go to sleep and then wake up, and their guards had overrun or been killed in the night by, like, assassin guys. And it just it wasn't a good war. Uh, the United States dropped or used Agent Orange over there, which apparently, according to the DOD, didn't happen. Or did the movie just make it up? Or, uh, another movie to watch would be Article 99 on how vets were treated when seeking medical attention from the VA hospital. Such a problem, apparently. Somebody made a movie about it. But then... The guys, or the vets, would come home. They'd apparently be home in a day, but still be freaked out because, well, some of them lived their whole lives just being in in Vietnam in their minds, as sung about by Charles Daniels, or Charles Daniels, in the song um, "Still in Saigon." That's a good way that vets were still had the mindset when they came back. Plus, when they got back, people were like, in World War II, people were like, yay, let's party! You saved us from the Axis and everything was awesome! But when people came back from Vietnam, it was, hey, you're a bunch of baby killers and you're a bunch of jerks and we hope you die. Why didn't you die while you were over there? Because you were fighting. You should have died to communism. Yeah, it was, it was 60s was a crazy time. And this car, I do believe, is done. Woohoo! That was it, though. Uh -huh. And I'll get 247 bucks. Next car. Here's another one with brake problems. But that's a story car. Mm. I just need the money right now. <laughs> Because until I get to like 300, or let's let's check it. How many points I have? Uh, 270 of 300 points. So I'm still level one. Somebody's still on the phone, and I got four thousand sixty-seven dollars. Whoop to do 67 bucks for just doing a. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to take me a long time to get to. Uh, any of the decent levels where I can like fix stuff and make my own parts and whatever. Oh, can't check its status whilst moving. So, this too has three problems. Let's check the brake stuff here. Oh! So, the brake uh, cylinder looks fine, but this doesn't look that good. Let's take that off and see if it's uh, one of the parts I need to replace. Yep, ABS module needs to be replaced. Ooh, you can tell this car is well loved. But, there's a brake caliper here in the back. I can see through the rim, it doesn't look all that good.
So yeah, basically it did not pay to be a, or there was no real, yay, thank you for serving your country if you're a Vietnam vet. Which is really sad. Which is based also a big difference, because in World War II, when we were, people were going off to fight the Germans and the Japanese and the Italians, and the Russians, yes, and the first of the, when the war first came out, Germany and Russia were friends. And they thought they were going to be the greatest friends in the world until... Actually, that doesn't look pretty bad. I think I might have found all the bad parts here. Let's... Yep, a brake uh, disc, uh, or a brake rotor, a caliper, and an ABS module. But when, um, rotor, ABS module, and a caliper. So, yeah, when people went off to fight World War II, because we'd been attacked by Japan, everybody wanted to go. They were like, yeah, sign me up. I want to go fight the Japanese for, to, um, I, we want to go fight for America, so it's all awesome. And everybody joined. Twelve-year-olds were screaming, let, let, I'm old enough to fight World War II, let me go. And uh, stars and actors were all signing up and going to fight World War II. And, yay, everything was awesome. Vietnam, nobody wanted to fight that war. Oh, please tell me I have the parts. So, yeah, for what happened and what Vietnam vets went through, I just pity them all the way around. For the war, nobody wanted to go fight. That's why people draft dodge like crazy. During the war, it was hell because it was guerrilla warfare, which we were, at the time, not quite used to. And you could, and in Vietnam, well, you, in any war, you could die. I don't want to compare wars themselves. But I don't think that the men who fought in Vietnam were weak by any stretch of it. And some of them handled stuff that's just like, I, I can't even imagine. And I wouldn't want to. It was just a bad war. And it wasn't even a war. It was the Korean conflict. Ooh, let's check and see if I can upgrade yet. Ooh, I've got three upgrades. So let's, our two available points. So, let's walk faster, and let's unscrew and screw parts faster. Ooh, faster part examination. That would have been nice, but... And this, what's this one? 5% uh, discount shops. So, less money for parts. Man, another Maserati. A Porsche. Ah, not, uh, not a Porsche. Running gear faults. I don't even want to look at the forks. Uh, let's do this one. <laughs> I have this movie. It's called Porsches are Weird. They're really weird. I don't like them. And I have to go work on that um, thing. So what's this one story? A year and a half ago, I bought this car for my son. He said that he... It's not interested in anything except driving it and occasionally filling it up with gas station. Please check the oil and tires. Okay, air filter. Standard tires. Oh, let's move it into position. So, we're going to have to replace the air filter, which is... Oh, that looks bad. But not my car. Take off these silly little clips that nobody likes. Nobody likes the clips. Why does nobody like the clips? Ooh, that looks nasty. And the fuel filter is right here.
so engine air filter right there ooh so many different air filter components I could be looking here all day let's just type in FUE for fuel let's see what happens ah there we go so let's install the new parts Oh, switch to unmount part, but I want to mount parts. Okay, let's put the fuel filter in. And then put the clips back on. And the clips are back on. On. All right, am I done talking about the war? Because, well, Vietnam. If you look at the yeah, another, another another movie that came out about Vietnam was Flight of the Interceptor, where they introduced the reality of um, not every target was a good target. So even though we had all the tech to win, what's this case? A water pump for I-4 and a classic 9. Okay. And a barn location map. Well. No, we're done here. No, we're not done here, are we? We gotta lift this puppy up. And drain the oil. Yeah, eventually you will have two or three bays to work with in this game, but that's not right now. And you can have a multiple three cars in your garage at any time. So I guess I don't know if that's where I want to end the video with uh, with the war, but eh, I'm kind of tired of talking about it. Now. I just know Vietnam was a really bad war, and World War II wasn't very good for a lot of people either. I talked with a guy once who said that he got captured by Japanese during World War II uh, and was sent to mainland Japan to rest. Actually, they, got, they were tortured, tormented, and all kinds of other things till like the, toward the ends of the war. Then the Japanese were willing to let them have Bibles and have some semblance of a nice stay, I guess. But either way, it wasn't happy for them. And I'm sure in the trenches, it wasn't happy for anybody. Frankly, war is just not a good thing. And it sucks that we have to have be such st stubborn people having to have our way, even though seem to have a slight communist problem right here in America right now. But I don't want to talk about that. Everybody else is talking about that. I'm a gamer. I want to talk about games. And this game is really quite good. I find it quite relaxing. Working on cars, fixing cars. So let's look at my inventory. See what size tires I need to get. 205, 55, 16. Okay. Standard tire B. Okay, so we... No, that's exit out. Hit the triangle to go back. Okay. Standard tire B. Need four size 16 is right with 205 profile 55. I hope I get a lot of money for this job, man. It's a pain in the butt. Not really, it's actually not bad, but dealing with tires that is time consuming.
Yeah, I can balance. In the time it takes to balance one tire, I can mount two tires on their rims. Maybe I was arrogantly wrong about that. Hold on, let's try. Load one tire for balancing. And uh, install. Okay, I may have been arrogantly wrong. I can admit that. Or is it the stupid classic tire nine which is messing with me? Oh, and it's so pretty when it spins around. Next victim. Last one. I can go mount the other ones on while that's spinning. See if I can use the thing to highlight. Oop. Let's grab the last tire. Just leapfrog around like Kermit. Permit the frog, man. <sighs> Did I put oil in this thing? What's a lot of that? Center on the engine. Nope, no oil. Maybe I should take this thing for a test drive. Maybe I should. It might be fun. Okay, did I put enough oil in here? Close enough. I'm glad I didn't spill oil on the floor. Yes, you can spill oil on the floor in this game. Move car to the entrance. <coughs> Status. Yeah, it's done. Everything's checked. But I want to take it first. I want to drive. But first, let's get rid of all this excess stuff out of my inventory. And I've never used rims, so we'll harvest that part for money, or money for parts. Yeah, here's all the weird places. You have a test track, a barn, or that's the barn from that one barn map. Speed track, off-road track, an abandoned airport you can drive stuff at, a uh, race track, and a car salon to go buy cars that are brand new. And yeah, it's kind of a weird thing parking garage, which I can never go to, and a test track, and a car auctions. Car auctions are important when you have money, but right now, I don't have much money. So let's take it to the test track and check its other stats. So here we are on the test track. Yay, get to drive. And I like looking at it from the back like this. There's three camera modes. You can, behind the wheel, at back and then there's a chase camera for you to look around at all the cars stuff like here I'll demonstrate the chase camera you can just use your right stick and spin around the car looking at it from all points of view of course they have I have anybody in the driver's seat so it's got trippy so let's finish this test the handling test no, it doesn't handle too bad Check the suspension test by running over a bunch of bumps. And 
can you stay in the track? And then there's around here is going to be a stop within this box too for checking our brakes, which are horribly horrible. Yeah, the parts aren't looking all that good, but they only told me to fix the tires and fix the what I could fix. So I'm going to call that finished. Woohoo. I'll take my two grand. Actually, how much money do I have? Because in this one, it takes money to fix cars. 5,826. Ooh, I'm going to be grinding for a long time. Oh, I'm level 3. I'm level 3. I have 780 XP, 4 calls, and 5 grand. Let's do some um, upgrade. Or can I? Nope. I have to be level 4. Darn it. Getting closer, though. Oh, well, that's where I think I'll call it for this video. Thank you for watching the Fat Man 56 channel. And from Fatso's Garage, thank you and have a good night.